It was a scary but thrilling encounter for a New York City teenager after a shark sighting on Long Island. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan with our exclusive story now from West Hampton Beach. It was sunrise in West Hampton Beach. 17-year-old Benjamin Islicht casting for striped bass using eel as bait. And all of a sudden, I just turn and I see my rod like bending at, like an, at a crazy angle. He fought it for nearly an hour. At that point, I still wasn't sure what it was. And then all of a sudden, I see like the iconic dorsal fin just cutting across on the on top of a wave, and I'm like, oh my god, it's it's a real shark. I here I am alone, and what your yeah, mom? Here I am alone at five five now five forty or now at six twenty five in the morning, and I just and, and I'm about to release like a massive shark, and I don't I don't even have one picture. Like my, my ever, no one's gonna believe me, and my mother's gonna kill me. It was then a small crowd appeared, confirming Benjamin's shark tail with their cameras. He took out the hook, let it go, and watched the seven-foot shark swim away. We wanted to ask the experts, did Benjamin do the right thing by releasing the shark back into the West Hampton Beach waters? Absolutely, on a biological level and a legal level. These sharks are federally protected. Joe Wayulo is curator of the Long Island Aquarium in Riverhead. They see you. They're, they're out there. Uh, they just really have no interest. The sandbar shark looks menacing, but humans are not on the menu. I'm a fan of, like, Jaws, and, like, I watched all the movies, and, like, I used to do so many book reports on sharks. And, like, to me, I know that, like, sharks don't, don't attack humans, like, on purpose. So I didn't, I, I didn't feel bad about releasing it. Did you name your shark? Did I name my shark? No. I, that's, you're the first person to ask me that. Hmm. Not Jaws? I'm going to be a little bit more cautious when I go into the water. Cautious swimming with the sharks. From West Hampton Beach, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Wow. He has the evidence, right? It's he not sure just a story. It's the real deal. But they're federally protected. Yeah. But the line about, he said that my friends aren't going to believe me and my mother's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> All true. It's true. Yep.